All right, and... Boop. Lit a tree on fire. Yay. All right, so what is up, guys? Y'all know your boy Firefly here, and welcome to Sith Heads Remastered. So, for those of you who don't know what this is, this is basically a... The very first Sith Heads game, except it was redone, and it has more of a a feel for the current. It has like a more current uh, Sith Heads level design feel to it, whereas in the first game it was a uh, it was a little more like how would I say? Uh, I don't know what the right word for it is, but it's like uh, this. This one has more uh, graphical uh, graphical upgrades, if that's even a word. Graphical. Uh, and then, like, you know, the whole level design just has a more, uh, modern Sith Heads feel to it, and, yeah. And this game's actually reminding me that I should probably play, a, the Street Wars, uh, demo. They actually, they this is just basically a Sith Heads RPG that they completely, uh, bailed on because of, uh, funding purposes, I think. And then, uh, and then, yeah, so I, I'm, I should still probably play the demo. Don't just disappear out on me. I, they still made a demo for it, but they just flat out didn't, uh, make a, a full game. So, yeah, without further ado, no more blabbering on for me, let's get on with this. Sweet. All right, same exact mission from uh, the very first Sith Heads. A guy from Grey Mafia territory, or er, a guy from Grey Mafia is selling on Red Mafia's territory. Kill him and don't hurt the civilians. Dragon, Dragon of and uh, seven point six two millimeters. All right, and yeah, as you can see, the the level design is completely different, but the overall premise of the levels is pretty much the same. <laughs> I killed the guy driving. No, oh, they're back. Matt Judah, kill your assailants. And we're armed with the point forty five Desert Eagle. Let's do this. This is the exact same level as it was the exact same uh, second level. And this uh, level is uh, somewhat similar to the second level. I just browsed through it really quickly, and you could do that in the uh, in the first game also in the original. But the job is done. Thanks, Vinny. But you can keep it. Payback for my tutor. I need your talent for our last mission. My son Tony is persecuted by rivals, can you? No problem. Kill everybody except Angelo. He's always wearing a hat. Uh, okay, so... Back to what I was saying before about the second mission before I was interrupted by Vinny. Uh, in the second level, you can uh, you just have to kill in the in the original game you just have to kill the driver, but in this game you have to uh, you you do have the option of just killing everyone, or I mean you do have the option of just killing the driver. But if the driver dies, the person riding shotgun will take the wheel also. So you have to kill both of them. So yeah. And, uh, and I think people in this game take more than one hit to die, so, um, if you, you could probably tell that from the, uh, the second level. Okay, so anyways, bloody poker. They didn't tell you this in the first game, that Angelo was the one wearing the hat, actually, which was, you know, kind of a miss, uh, a flaw on their part, because the first time I actually played the original Sift Heads, I 
I actually was not sure which one is Angela, and I'm just like, okay, so he's just going off the assumption that he's probably the one who's uh, different from everybody else. That's probably him, but I mean, still, you don't really know that for a fact. Okay, so anyways, let's get on with the level. So they don't see me yet, but... Let's make this very similar to the way it was in the first game, and... And I think I am dying. Yeah, I am. Under pressure. Use pressure to make him talk. Don't kill him before you get the info you need. And they actually- yeah, they, so they actually made the interrogation scene for, uh, this part of mission now instead of it just being a cutscene. What the fuck do you want? What you got? Nothing, man. These guys you just killed took all my money. And then, so yeah, if you shoot him in the head, like, per se, right now, you will fail. So you have to, uh... Okay, yeah. So I'm, I'm just gonna skip this. So yeah, you, you just basically have to shoot him in every body part except for the head for this mission. And shoot him in the arm. You're funny. You think I'm doing all this to steal your earnings. To take my car. It's the GT500 in the backyard. I'm not here for that, but thanks anyway. Bastard. Hmm? Okay, okay, put the thing down. What the fuck do you want? Where's Tony? Tony, why didn't you ask all in the first place? Why all this shit? I said, where is Tony? Ah, he's being kept in the general store on road 162. Thanks. Oh, and thanks for the GT. Survive the ambush and protect Tony who's being persecuted. All right. So, it, they sure took a, they sure went a lot way to just take Tony out here. All right, so. Oh. I may be slightly dying over here. Unlike in the first game, I actually did not memorize where the people will appear, so I'm just playing it as I go along, but now I kind of have an idea. Alright, so, there's gonna be one more up here. Oh crap. Alright, got him. Tony. Huh? Thank God. You prove your worth, T Vinny. You're now working for me. I work for myself. Okay. Before you go, leave your tie to Tony, please. Sure. Eye for an eye. Kill your assailants. And we are on with a classic Uzi. 9mm. Okay, so... Yeah, Vinny ain't taking none of that shit. So... You know how it is. Come on. Oh crap, did I just reload?
the hell is going on here? Oh crap, I died. Son of a bitch. Alright, well. I'm not sure if you, you guys probably do hear the freaking fan. I'm gonna try and do something about that. Alright, let's try this again. You! Yeah, I'm not having any of your crap this time. Yay! Two families on my back. Let them find out who I am. You've reached Edmondo. I'm at the golf club for the day. You've only got one shot to kill the Grey Mafia's leader and his personal guard. Prove your sniping skills. And we are armed with our classic M21. Okay, this mission is really different from the from the very last mission because you have to kill him and wait for it. You basically have to collateral love the leader and his guard at the same time, which in the in the very first game it was weird because you only had to kill one or the other and then you could have you would have completed the mission. So Yeah. And then you got a new car for all this trouble. So you know. Oh, and he shot us. Wow, what a dick. Hidden mission waiting. Okay, so yeah, guys, that was that was the Ted's remastered. I actually, I actually do know what this hidden mission is, and I actually should should wait a little bit, uh, and play the next act of Sift Heads World before I play this mission because, like, this mission actually has to do with the the storyline of Sift Heads World. So I will play this later, but uh, yeah, guys, that was Sift Heads World, or er, no, it wasn't. Sift Sith Heads World. This was Sith Heads Remastered, and yeah, it was definitely, it was definitely a good nostalgia trip back to the very first Sith Heads. So I'm actually, I'm actually glad that they made this. It was, it was cool for them to put their uh, newer and skills into the, into their previous game. It'd be cool if they did this for the second Sith Heads also, but I don't know. They don't really. They don't really have to, and once again, they probably won't be making any more Sift Heads games because I heard their uh, their company is actually having some uh, some money issues. So, but yeah, nonetheless, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this this episode of Sift Heads Remastered, and I hope you guys come back for more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed. It really means a lot to me. But other than that, that wraps up this video. This is Firefly signing off. Until next time, I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye bye.